Darnold and the Brooklyn Barons. DA Sports coverage of the NFL has us in a very rainy Kansas City, Missouri at Venerable Arrowhead Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Brooklyn Barons and the Kansas City Chiefs. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Chiefs ball club. Things haven't gone exactly. Harrison Butker. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. As we take a peek at Sam Darnold, the former USC Trojan and third pick in the 2018 draft. I love how he exploded on the national scene his redshirt freshman year when at the beginning of the season he was not named the starting quarterback. But when USC was struggling, he got an opportunity. And by the end of the year, the Rose Bowl MVP, an epic shootout with Penn State, and put him on the NFL radar in a big way. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line, he provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Darnold from the gun. Crowder's got it over the middle. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. An early test, two plays in. This is third and two. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, Doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yardage? Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board, and they're able to avoid that three and out. On first down, Darnold. Throw left side, complete. It's Harper. Darnold's pass. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs' 43-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. A gain of seven. First on first down, they go right back to Hunt, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Out of the shotgun. Here's Darnold. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. Darnold's pass. One of the selling points of the end route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver. And almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And he gets it down to the 32. By the skin of their teeth, they are able to convert on third and inches. This is Hunt. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. This is Bell. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Brings up third down. Here's Darnold. Go for it, 
The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck roll that they can fall back on anymore. Matthew Here's McCrane. Matthew McCrane now for the field goal try. A 43-yard attempt. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like nowhere to go here. He lost the football. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And this crowd into it early. Their guys stand tall on the opening drive of the football game. So here are the Chiefs now as they get set for their opening drive. Leading this unit will be the big arm man out of Texas Tech. Tenth pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. We know the arm strength is certainly there. He's got a big-time cannon for an arm, and that's not a surprise. He's the son of a former major league pitcher, so the bloodlines come into play. The biggest question for Patrick Mahomes, can he harness that big arm, develop the touch that's needed, and carry his team towards the playoffs. They'll contain him to just four, second down. The screen was executed and completed, but where's the worry on the play? How many times is a quarterback going to get hit? Because offensive linemen have to do an acting job of making sure it looks like they're whiffing on blocks. But you gotta slow them down a little bit, because if you don't, that's a lot of big guys coming at your quarterback in a big, fast way. And boy, he can get hurt. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. Intended for How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. First down throw, Darnold. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Back to throw, Darnold. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it. Really well done. First down, it's Darnold. Incomplete. Darnold. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. And he'll get this underneath to Bell. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Third down. Throwing again is Darnold into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42, and they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. So cancel the interception, pass interference. And you know what else gets canceled? The return yardage. Makes the play, but now it's all for knock. Now a first down carry by Bell. Number 
26. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Twatty! And he takes it all the way down to the three. A huge play there on the screen pass. 41 yards. You can feel the effort all the way up here. He tried his best to get there. Didn't quite make it, but down around the two, three yard line. Got to love the effort, and especially the big play that gave his offense a great opportunity. First and goal from the three. Now Jarnold to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Darnold. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Brings up second and goal. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. Here's Matthew McCrane now for the field goal try. And from the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. McCrane's kick is good. Is good. And that will break our tie and give him a three-point lead. Nothing. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points, not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Second and inches. At the 30, they'll run it for the first time with Williams. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Two yards, good enough for a first. Chiefs. First and 10. Williams. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. CJ Mosley. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. On second and nine, Mahomes. That one complete to Hill. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one covers 29 yards, first down. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big-time completion. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. On the ground, this is Williams. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Chiefs, nothing. Five yards remain on second down. Edwards Alaire on the counter. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. 
It's now third down and six. First throw for the backup quarterback. And this is caught at the eight. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end. And he comes through for him, picking up the first down. Now they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll run with Edwards Alaire. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now we have Kelsey slow to get back to his feet. Appears to be shaken up. Let's hope it's not anything that'll keep him out of the opener. We'll be right back. They'll try to run with Edwards Hilaire. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards Hilaire taking it in. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. They got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space. But how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. Is good. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Clyde Edwards Alaire. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Returnable here for Davis. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. On the return, they'll take over first down and 10. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Three yards the game there, second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. A five-yard pickup on the play. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Braden On fourth man. down, punt coming from Braden Mann. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down to close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. Here's Edwards Alaire as they will start on the ground. 
And he'll get him a little space here up to the five-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Five-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And he's able to get this up just shy of the 15. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Well, Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. And we often talk about defensive ends setting the edge, sometimes even the outside linebackers, but how about here? This is a cornerback essentially setting the edge and finishing off that play for a loss. Here's Long, looking to throw on second down. He's got it complete to Thompson. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Another nice game, 13 yards that time, and another first down. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to 11 on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator, understanding what he thinks the defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, can look at the defense Realize he needs to change it to a run, and that gets it done in a big way as well. Now long on first and ten. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big game downfield. What a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Here's Edwards Hilaire. Tackle made by Foley Fanukasi, the former UConn Husky. Tackle made at the 38 yard line. A gain of four. It's now second and six. On second down now, it's Thompson. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. The Chiefs on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. And this will be a long field goal if the skies were clear. But here in the rain and the elements, they'll go for it on fourth. Operating from the gun. Long. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? 
As a defender, I always found the slant route extremely difficult to cover unless you were able to jump on top of it early because once he gets his hands on the ball, he's at full speed going away from you. It, just, it all happens in the blink of an eye, doesn't it? It really does. The timing is so important. That ball's got to be out of the hands of the quarterback and to the receiver like that. And if it is, you often get a very successful play. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. His pass caught at the four. Yeah, the Chiefs are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. First and goal at the two-yard line. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Clyde edwards helaire ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. now to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. That drive a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. Kickoff for Kansas City. Returnable here for Davis. And able to get this out to the 25. First down and 10 at their own 25-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement down on the scoreboard. Maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is... And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Frank Clark fighting his way home to get the sack. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. some hot water now after that sack it's second and 21 another try after the first down sack Morgan they'll try and set up the screen it's complete and he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds that one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down it's third down Morgan from the gun on third down. And he'll complete this one to Barrios. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And a Brooklyn first down. Throwing now is Morgan. And he's taken down. A cheap sack. Colin Saunders gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. Now that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. It led to a sack. That's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Got a man, it's Barrios complete. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Here's Morgan throwing on third and long. Going right side here, and that's complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Jam. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Now the offense will burn their third and final 
called timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third. And now they deal with fourth down. A final shot before break. Morgan. And my goodness, this is incomplete. So we are halfway through here in the final week of the preseason. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. One more half of preseason football to go. And then all eyes will look ahead to one week from tonight, the annual NFL kickoff game. And that promises to be a dandy. In our game, the starters are long gone. But still some intrigue to see guys trying to make a late roster push as we get you back out to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And the half will begin with a touchback. The KC offense and Clyde Edwards-Alaire getting the ball back here. And he's found the end zone twice, and now I'm guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the defensive perspective, how has he gotten there twice? What are we going to do to keep him out for a third time? How do we tighten things down? Because he and his offensive mates, they are really in sync right now. One, and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. That catch good for only a couple. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. And not a whole lot doing there, so he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Now third down is looming, a pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards-Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, pretty yards for you when necessary. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now Edwards Alaire. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. The ball carrier. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. From the gun. Long. Yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. That's a gain of six. Makes it third and two. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. It'll be a two-yard game, and the Chiefs are going to get a fresh set of downs. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where the low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. To throw is long on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A big play there. 45 yards. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. 
and they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. The point after threw the raindrops up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Returnable here for Davis. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. They'll take over. First down and 10. And now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. On the pickup. Second down. From the 30 on second down. Morgan looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. That one a first down pickup of eight. An eight-yard pickup. First down, Brooklyn. From the gun, it's Morgan. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. 13 yards. First down, Barron. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Number 40, 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. Naughty on the tackle. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. At the third. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Morgan to throw. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Like a freight train there, Derek Nottie with a sack. They were trying to set up that screen, trying to get that screen to formulate. Took too long. Ends up taking a sack, and that leads you to a couple of other questions. Number one, why don't you just get rid of the football near the screen, guys, so that you don't take an interception. But really, the big one, they just took everything away, and he was really kind of flummoxed on that play and ended up taking the sack. Well, they bring their punter out there now as he's on to kick it away. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. That's a double win there, partner. You keep out of the return man's hands, and you pin him inside the five-yard line. Pretty darn good. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent. Just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader, making sure that you're playing well, and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you judge how big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far. They'll like that. I just want you to know that you agree with me that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? 
<laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. So the previous play, a big help, as now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Second and nine now from the 21. Blake Cashman on the tackle. Looking to throw. Long, rolling to his right. And now he's going to use his legs. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. That's good for a Kansas City Chief. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots and be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. Long, throwing on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. It's a gain of five, brings up second and five. They'll run, it's Edwards Alaire. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. on the play, brings up third down and five. Operating from the gun, long. That's who is running back, Edwards Hilaire. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. And ten at their own 20. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But some, hey, listen, there's, some, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. Give him eight on the play and it'll bring up a second down. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and seven. Morgan. The 31 yard line. Over the middle complete. That's Clark. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 15 yards on the play. First down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing from the gun is Morgan. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Clark. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. First down, Brooklyn. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Off of a play fake, here's Morgan. Caught by his tight end, Wesco. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 
Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. First down. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sent back at the 38. Colin Saunders able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Morgan going to throw right side here. Complete. Morgan's pass. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now a handoff here to his running back, and he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of a face mask, I think. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. Hey, 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 hey. Morgan looks to throw it. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. He's at the 50. The 30. The 20. 10. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Oh, That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. Butker on for the PAT. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken in the end zone. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Morgan now throwing after the interception. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Trying to go back to Watkins. That'll bring up second down. Incomplete. It's now second and 10 at the 25. Throwing again. Morgan. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. He'll have a first down past the 40. And finally, down at the 41-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them gets big yardage and puts points on the board. They have pride too on that side of the ball. On first and 10, it's Morgan. 
And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. From the contact. It's second down and 10. To throw is Morgan. Throwing again on second and 10. He's got this one completed to Mims. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Seven yards. And it's third down. Now Morgan from the gun on third down. And that is incomplete. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. It's fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Morgan, uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory, down at the 33. They'll look to throw again. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. That pass play wound up for negative yardage. So here's second and 11. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Able to connect with Mims. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Got a man, it's Mims. Morgan. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. It's a gain of six. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. To throw again, Morgan. And he comes back with one complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. First and goal at the 7-yard line. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. A solid move on the run, but ultimately stops short of the goal line. Down at the two. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line. Because ordinarily, you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Calling a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. That's going to set him back five yards. Still third down. How crucial will those five yards be? We'll see as they come up again here, third and goal. From the gun, Morgan. And it's caught. Touchdown. 
A five-yard touchdown. And his guys are able to close that gap just a bit. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. And he finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Matthew McCrane on for the PAT. And this is up and good. It cuts the lead to 28-10 now. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. A gain of three, second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Long now on third down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Ashton Davis. Pass the 20. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. This game's still fairly well in hand, but I think now you, you go conservative, don't you? Go into your shell, just run the football? I think you have to, but you also have to tell your backs, make sure you're really protecting the football because you're going to run into a stacked defensive front, which is why they were throwing the football before, trying to make sure they just didn't get their backs, you know, really beat up in that situation. Now, good luck to them. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field possession. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling, and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage is switched to their opponent. Throwing after the interception. Long being chased out left. Now he'll pull it down. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. On the scramble. Out of bounds at the 42-yard line. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. Operating from the gun. Long dancing to his left. And he's going to keep it here. And wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. That's a gain of three. Now third and five. From the gun. Long. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him. And they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. 
Uh, Charles, all things considered, I guess that's not a critical miss at this stage, is it? No, but still everything helps when you're trying to finish off a ball game. And you're right, not critical in terms of the scoreboard and the team, but the guy with the golden foot, he knows he's only as good as his last kick. Now left side on the swing pass. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. They have the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Morgan to throw on third down. And that will be incomplete. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. And this is too far behind his man. He missed him. It's incomplete. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off at the 45. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Little choice, Charles, but to go for it right there, and that pick six will be the icing on the cake. Yeah, you don't know how many more possessions you're going to get, so really, you're almost at the point of no option. Have to go for it. Bottom line, though, is defenders know that as well. They know you've got to throw the football. Had the right defense call, it will make a nice play on the ball, and that's all she wrote. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, and the Chiefs are going to get him. It's been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. And it's third down. Operating from the gun, Morgan. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The Chiefs offense set to go. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. The drive will begin with a run by Edwards Alaire. Some tough running, but it only gets him to the 45. Edwards Alaire, the ball. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now they try the right side here. And he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage with a penalty flag down. This might push him back further. And he'll give it here to his running back. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. He's brought down. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. 
but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.